This will be your first time flying to space, so you're technically a rookie here. Absolutely. How do you feel about having your maiden voyage be on this new spaceship? And how does your family, specifically your four children, feel about it? Well, you know, uh, I am thrilled. Just the opportunity to go to space is amazing. And so to be able to, to go on a vehicle that's built by this great company, and, and specifically in California, where I'm from, uh, not far from SpaceX headquarters, actually, is it, just a treat. And as a test pilot, a, a former test pilot, being able to fly a new vehicle is really a, a dream, dream come true. And I will say that uh, my kids are really thrilled by it. I, I think my kids love NASA. They really love SpaceX. I, I just, they, they've got a great culture and the marketing has been great. So my kids are really excited about it. What have you learned from Bob and Doug, you know, who were the first crew to fly in Crew Dragon just a few months ago about the journey and the flight They've given us both technical information as well as daily life information. And, and the daily life stuff is are the things that you will not get in a classroom uh, learning about a vehicle. Things like the sounds that you're gonna hear on the Dragon, it's always important to know what to expect. And so we they've talked a lot about that. I think one of the most important things they told us is that the vehicle does fly like the simulator. So that is really good. It's a testament to all the work that went into both building the spacecraft and the simulator. So um, we have a good idea how the vehicle is going to fly. Now, you and your crewmates have named this space capsule Resilience. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that name choice? This has been a tough year for the entire world, and um, there's been a lot of resilience shown throughout the whole world. And so our hat is off to everybody, the people that made this possible, the people that are going through tough times and still surviving and just looking ahead of what resilience can do uh, for the future. What does it mean to you to be a black man and an astronaut at this moment in our country's history? You know, I'm not immune to the, the things going on in the world right now, uh, from the physical uh, insecurity that many people are feeling to the economic insecurity. And I will say this, the overriding feeling that I have is that I want to go up there and do my job well uh, and then come back and tell a great story about a great mission and a great team so that people have something to look up and look forward to. And it is a challenging time, but you know, that's what teams have to come together and do. Put the best people forward and, and, and show what we are capable of when we work hard and we work together. The first mission, Demo 2, was filled by two veteran male astronauts. But this time, you know, it's more of a mixed bag. You have a rookie, a few seasoned veterans, an international partner, and yourself, a woman. So how do you anticipate that diversity in the capsule impacting the mission? I think it makes our crew that much stronger. Uh, we, we've known each other for years. We've worked together for years um, and having diversity of backgrounds, diversity of approaches, diversity of training just makes the team that much stronger. And I, I really think, you know, a lot of people are focusing on this and we have an incredibly diverse team, but this is this is the goal. This is how we want to fly space flight from here on out. We need people of all backgrounds. We need all international partners. It just, space flight is a diverse uh, endeavor. And so we're just a reflection of that.